Have you ever had that sinking feeling where you're scanning, staring at the screen, and you just can't tell what you're looking at? It happened to a colleague of mine. They were scanning a cat and spotted what looked like a splenic tumour. It was large, it was irregular, it was heterogeneous, and it was right next to the stomach. They were worried, understandably so, so they asked me to take a look. Now I'll tell you what I found a little bit later, because what's important is what they were feeling in that moment. Something I hear all the time from vets who reach out to me. Did I miss something? Did I get it wrong? I'm not even sure it's the structure I'm meant to be scanning. And it's not about being a bad vet. It's not about care, not caring. It's not even about the quality of the machine, though that can help. Most of the time, it's about landmarks. If we haven't met before, I'm Dr. Camilla Edwards. I'm a veterinary surgeon and the founder of First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound, uh, commonly known as FOVU for short. I help general practice vets become confident and consistent with ultrasound, whether they're scanning every day or just getting started. My aim is to help you feel less like you're guessing and more like you've got a clear clinical structure behind everything that you do. Landmarks are key to helping with this. They are the map that tell you where you are. They're the trail markers in a forest. They're the sat-nav coordinates that guide your next move. Without them, it's just a blur of gray and black and occasional white. With them, you know exactly where you are and what you're looking at. And here's the thing. Most people don't think they have a landmarks problem. They think they have a pathology problem or a probe problem or a I'm not very good at this problem. But the real issue, they were never actually on the right structure to begin with. Let's be honest, have you ever done this? You're scanning and you think, I should be seeing the right kidney. So you press harder, you rock the probe, you rotate the probe, slide the probe. Maybe you even do that little probe panic waggle, you know the one, where your hand just starts jiggling, hoping that the right kidney will magically pop into view. It doesn't. And now you're even less sure than you were 10 seconds ago. This is what scanning looks like when we skip the landmarks. We're not scanning, we're searching. Worse, we're guessing. And you can't describe something confidently if you're not confident you're even looking at the right thing. Let me give you some real examples. Let's say you're looking for the left adrenal gland. You think, okay, it's near the left kidney. But if you haven't anchored yourself with the aorta and you're not following the renal artery, you might be too superficial or too dorsal. You might find something small and round and you think maybe that's it, but maybe it's a renal lymph node. Maybe it's just a bit of artifact. Maybe you're not even in the right region um, to find the left adrenal gland. Or how about this? You're scanning a dog mid-abdomen and you find a weird texture near the spleen. Could it be a pancreatic mass? Could it be part of the splenic tail? Could it be an artifact in the lumen of the stomach you weren't expecting? And because it's unclear, your instinct might be to press harder or call for help or just write in your report abnormal structure seen mid-abdomen. And that's not wrong, but it's, it's responsible. But it's also frustrating, right? Because deep down, you know, you could have found that it, you could have found it if you just had more structure to your scanning. If you had a better pro process, a map. And that's exactly what landmark scanning gives you. So how do you fix it? How do you go from guessing to knowing? The answer is not more random scanning. It's less, less sweeping, less panic probe waggling, less hope-based scanning. Instead, we focus on repeatable anchor points. Your goal is to turn disorientation into structure. So you don't just hope a structure will appear, you bring yourself to it. Let's go through a few landmark habits that can change everything. First up, the spleen. It's big, beautiful, and mostly easy to find. So 
It's your best friend when building scanning confidence. Here's the move. You start from the stomach, you slide dorsally, maintaining contact with that costal arch. Find the splenic head. This is usually nestled between the stomach and the left kidney. And then trace the spleen cordially towards the tail. It's the same path every time. This repetition builds what I like to call your ultrasound muscle memory. Now let's move on to the pancreas. Well, let's start from our landmarks with the patient in right lateral recumbency. We need to find the descending colon following cranially to where it becomes the transverse colon. By lining up the spleen, stomach and transverse colon, you can spot the left limb of the pancreas. That triangle of stomach, spleen and transverse colon helps me to reliably find the left limb of the pancreas. Let's do one more for kidneys. In dogs, it's often obvious which kidney is which. In cats, especially the skinny older ones, it can be a bit trickier. So you use your landmarks. Check which kidney is more cranial. We'd expect the left one to be more cranial. And see which direction the vessels are exiting the kidney. If the vessels are heading towards you, it's the opposite kidney. If they're heading away, it's from this side. And finally, a favorite of mine, the medial iliac lymph nodes. When you need to find them, don't search randomly near the bladder or bifurcation. Instead, follow the aorta cordially, watching as it splits. That's your landmark. These nodes sit symmetrically, just lateral to the external iliac arteries. You're not hoping to find them, you're bringing yourself to them. Now here's the really exciting bit. Once you've confidently using landmarks to find structures, you're finally ready to describe what you're seeing with that structure too. That's where SPEEDS comes in. SPEEDS is the framework we use at FOVU to help you interpret and report what you've found. It stands for size, position, echogenicity and echotexture, edge, distribution, dynamics, shape, and sampling. We'll dive deeper into speeds in upcoming videos. But for now, here's what you need to know. Speeds doesn't work if you're not on the right structure. It's not about seeing a thing. It's about knowing what you're looking at and then describing it in full. And it all begins with landmarks. So if you've been struggling to interpret what's on your screen, it might not be your eye. It might not be your pattern recognition. It might just be that you're not anchored yet. Anchored scanning comes first. Interpretation comes second. And speeds gives you the language to say, yeah, I know what this is and here's why it matters. So who needs to master landmark scanning? The short answer? Everyone who wants to stop second guessing themselves. But let's break it down a little bit more. If you're doing our basics course, this is your foundation. This is a skill that gives you certainty. You're not just learning to recognize organs, you're learning how to get them consistently. It makes the rest of your training easier, more confident and more enjoyable. You'll stop wondering, is that the spleen? And start asking, what's the echogenicity telling me about this spleen? Now, if you're working through our trickier bits course, landmarking is non-negotiable. You're trying to think, find things like the pancreas, the adrenals, and tiny lymph nodes. These aren't big, obvious structures. You need accuracy, you need a plan, and that means landmarking must be second nature. If you're already in our FOVU club, this is the kind of habit you can strengthen with our monthly prompts and our regular feedback. If you're scanning this week, try using three clear landmark transitions like spleen head um, or finding that aorta to get to the left adrenal or using the stomach spleen transverse colon to get to that left limb of the pancreas. Upload a screenshot, ask for FOVU feedback Friday, tag the landmark you used. Uh, we, we can see if we can get you some feedback. Now, remember that cat I mentioned, the one with the suspected splenic tumor? Here's what I did. I placed the cat in right lateral recumbency and started systematically using the FOVU abdominal scanning framework. I worked through the organs in order. I confirmed the spleen. It was smooth, homogenous, no focal lesions. 
ruled out any involvement with the tumor. Eventually, I got to the descending colon, which I followed cranially until I saw it turn into the transverse colon. That gave me my triangle, spleen, stomach, transverse colon. And in that space, nestled between them was a structure that looked a lot like the original mass. So it wasn't a splenic mass. It wasn't a random tumor. It was a very abnormal left limb of pancreas. Seen in context with proper landmarks, it was obviously not the spleen. To confirm my findings, I scanned the opposite side, found the duodenum, used it to locate the right limb of the pancreas, which matched in appearance and echogenicity. No surprise findings at laparotomy, no unnecessary surgery, no panic, just clarity thanks to a structured approach and the right landmarks. So if you've ever finished a scan with that nagging doubt, did I miss something? Was that really the adrenal gland? Did I do that patient justice? Then this is where things can shift. You don't have to scan in a fog. You don't have to hope that things will show up. You don't have to wait until you've done hundreds of scans to feel confident. And you don't need to do the panic waggle. You just need a framework. Start with the foveo abdominal scanning framework. It gives you a repeatable proven method to build structure into your scans. And if you want to learn alongside it, check out our basics course. It's built for vets who want to stop second guessing and start cat scanning with confidence. You'll get video walkthroughs, clear demonstrations on how to scan organs and practical steps to apply straight, straight away. You can do this. Landmark scanning isn't just for specialists. It's for any vet who wants to do their best for the animal right in front of them. And if that's you, welcome to Fovu. Make sure you subscribe for next month's video. Each month we'll be diving deeper into ultrasound topics like speeds, showing you how to turn ultrasound findings into proper, valuable clinical reports. And of course, follow us on social media for scanning tips and stories all through this month. If you're keen to improve your confidence and consistency, Fovu is a great place to start.